Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Red Wolf TV. I'm Tim. And I'm Ted. And today we'll be looking at the APS Urban Assault Rifle. While this gun doesn't yet exist in the real steel world, a real steel company has shown extensive interest and plans to produce it as a real weapon thanks to its ergonomic design. This bullpup style gun is made primarily of polymer with the exception of the metal flash hider. It's 64 centimeters or 23 inches in length and weighs about 2.5 kilograms or 5 pounds. The weight distribution is mainly at the back like most bullpup styles, but according to APS they did this purposefully so that when you add accessories, the weight distribution is more even. Everything about it is ambidextrous. We have the fire selector above the trigger. We have two sets of magazine release buttons, one right above the trigger and one in front of a magwell. To move the handle to the other side, you just press the button to take it out. You pull this out. This panel here, you can press in and move it to the other side. So you can hear it click. Put it back on. Spin it around. Put it back inside. And there you have it. It's a left-handed gun. You have one QD sling mount you can attach to four different points. The hop-up is also ambidextrous. For more, you pull it back, and for less, you push it forward. Same with the other side. The bolt release is strategically placed on the top of the rear stock, so you can release it with your chin if you need to. The battery is stored in the upper receiver along the spine of a gun, and is easily accessed by applying pressure against the sides of the cap right above the flash hider. It has quad rails, of which you definitely add some accessories to make it look as awesome as this. One of the coolest features about this gun is the fact that it's got a spring-loaded mechanism within the magwell. So you can eject it without having to manhandle it, a quick reload, and is compatible with other M4 high cap magazines. I'm using 0.2 gram 6mm BBs at a range of 20 meters. Pulling the trigger back in semi-auto mode is incredibly fast and rather annoying, but it's also a good thing for when you put it in full auto, you can control your shots. Pulling halfway for semi and all the way back for full auto. The UAR has a version 3 gearbox using 8mm bushing. The steel gears are shimmed and it has a sector clip installed so it allows for more reliable feeding for high rates of fire. It also has a quick change spring option at the back of the gearbox, which makes the UAR one of the most versatile AGs on the market. With an FPS of 320, fairly high accuracy, an effective range of more than 25 meters and a reasonable price, it makes this UAR a really good deal. The gaps in the upper receiver are rather unsightly, but you can make a plan to cover them up. And it's got a pretty cool skull on the butt stop. So for these two cool products and many more, do go to our website at www.redwolfairsoft.com. There's plenty more where that came from, so don't miss out on other episodes of Red Wolf TV.